Berwala is a town in the Kalathur district and is located 60 kilometers from Colombo. It's located on the southwest coast of Sri Lanka. It was originally called Berberine in tribute of a Somali sheikh, Yusuf bin Ahmed al Kamnain, who was also a scholar and a traveler. Today, the name Berwala has been derived from the word bay, as in harbor, ru, as in the sailing ships, and wella. Hence, Berwala refers to the place where sails were lowered. The fisheries harbor was constructed in 1965 by the Ceylon Fisheries Corporation and is a prominent site when one enters the city limits. This harbour is said to have been used for hundreds of years as it's a naturally protected port. Along the shores of Berwella, one can observe the Barberin Lighthouse, also referred to as the Berwella Lighthouse. Located on a small 3.25 hectare island, the lighthouse is a 34 metre high white conical tower. Completed in 1889, it has been upgraded and linked to other lighthouses. The Barberin Lighthouse is one of the four international lighthouses in Sri Lanka and is a beacon on the southwest coast. Like the adjoining town of Benthuta, Berwella too has a number of tourist hotels and accommodation options available for the traveller. Major Bevis William Frederick Bauer was a Sydney's soldier, planter and landscaper. In 1929, his mother Bertha Marianne Nee Schrader bequeathed him a property in Benthuta. This was the beginnings of Brief Garden. Brief Garden is situated just nine kilometers from Berwilla. The property is two hectares in size. After Bevis retired from the army, he made Brief his home and sculptured and improved the gardens. Being a proficient landscaper and seeing the results at Brief Gardens, he was commissioned to landscape many embassies, private residencies and public buildings. The name Brief Gardens was derived from the fact that the land was originally purchased by his father, a lawyer, through the funds received from a successful legal brief. The Ketchimale Mosque and Shrine hold a unique position, not just geographically, but in the hearts of the Moors of Sri Lanka. The mosque is surrounded on three sides by the sea and atop a slightly elevated point on the shoreline. Various scholars and personalities moved to create an Islamic renaissance through social, religious and educational reforms. The commencement of the Buhari Muslim Majlish at the Darga saw widespread popularity through the innovative concepts and profound explanations of the Hadiths. The largest festival of the Ketchimale Mosque is a celebration of the Buhari Muslim Majlish and fellowship of the Moors around the country. This month-long festival is attended by thousands, both Muslims and people from other faiths. They pray for Sheikh Waliullah at the tomb and recite the Holy Quran with a view to having their appeals fulfilled and wishes granted. In 2015, the Ketchimale Mosque was declared a protected archaeological site by the government. The Al Abra Mosque is reputed to be the oldest mosque in Sri Lanka. Available documents indicate that it was constructed in 920 CE, making it 1,100 years old. Its unusual architecture is what catches one's eye. A huge pond in front of the mosque serves as a means for devotees to wash themselves before performing Islamic rituals and prayer. The mosque has been renovated and refurbished in three phases to meet the needs of modern times. The Kandevihara temple gets its name from the fact that it's atop a hill close to the town of Alukama. The temple was founded in 1734 and has been recognized as an archaeological site. The temple has a stupa, bodhi tree, relic chamber, 
image house and other shrines dedicated to various deities. The relic chamber, believed to be the oldest building, has murals belonging to the latter part of the Candian era. Just 14 years ago, a statue, almost 50 meters tall of a Samadhi Buddha, was completed and dominates the entrance to the temple complex. While the town of Ratnapura is renowned for its gem mining and as a center for the sale and trading of precious stones, a lesser known fact is that the street of China Fort in Beruela is arguably a more important one. For centuries, Moors who have landed on the shores of Beruela and settled down have been involved in the trade of gemstones. Most days, and especially on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the streets of China Fort gets busy with gem traders meeting in street corners and offices to inspect, offer, buy and trade precious stones from around the world. Not just gems from Sri Lanka, but stones from countries such as Madagascar, Tanzania, India, Burma, Mozambique and Malawi are brought to China Fort International Gem Market and traded. The street is famous around the world as a major gem trading hub, with thousands of gem cutters, polishers and traders meeting almost every day.